Hey guys, it's Kiefer Vlogs here. I figured I'd make a, sorry about my messy room. I gotta clean it, I'm fucking lazy guys. I shouldn't have cussed, I'll probably get red tagged. Well, I'm not popular, but on YouTube, they only read, but um, I'm gonna just do a quick tour of the vacuum cleaner collection for you guys. Like I said, I'm sorry about the mess. And shout out to Peter Fisberg or Fitzberg. I think that's how I say your name. Not for sure. I didn't look specifically, but I will get that Dixon video out of my mowers. And I don't do lawn care anymore. I still got my like old setups of like the lawn boy and everything. Just, I don't know. But I'll give you a tour of the lawn equipment or show you that Dixon in action. When it gets nicer out, I gotta do some oil changes and stuff to the Dixon. But I'll give you a video of it running, show you what I like about her and everything. But just want to give you guys a quick tour of the vacuum cleaner collection. And maybe some of my favorites to kind of least favorites. Like I said, sorry about the mess. I haven't cleaned in here. But, I guess we'll start off in the closet. Yeah. God. My Kirby is heavy. But compared to these old dual Santronics, quick thing is, I do need to polish my Kirbys. I'm lazy. It's my oldest Kirby. These Kirbys are heavier, like the... What year did they start doing this? On the... Uh, G3s, which I have a G3 back there. They start adding transmissions inside of Kirby, which is supposed to make them easier to push. They said, and it adds more weight to the Kirby. Like this old dual Santatronic doesn't have a transmission. Same with this Heritage back here, my first Kirby. That doesn't have a transmission in it. And they pushed fine on the carpet for me. Just as long as you're not setting it so low, the difference is, is this one you can set low to the ground all the way to the ground and the transmission is going to drive it. Those ones you set all the way to the ground, they're going to be hard to push because like you're supposed to only press it down these foot pedals until you hear a change in motor tone. Some people think they got to have it all the way low to the carpet, which I don't know why they say it cleans better, but you don't get the right amount of brush roll agitation and stuff like that. But give you a quick tour in the closet here of the vacuum cleaners in here. So, uh, what's this one called? I think this one is my Saner. That's a Saner I got from a gift from my special ed teacher in middle school. This is my Dirt Devil. Dirt Devil. Royal 500 Dirt Devil. I think this one has uh no, this one just has the one-speed motor. I don't remember where I got that. I remember... I can name off... used to be able to name off where I got every single fucking vacuum cleaner. I shouldn't have cussed again, but... Second... Every single vacuum cleaner, I can't rem remember where I got them all. This is my Royal. I think this one has problems. I'll maybe let you guys hear it sometime. I think it's got fan problems or something, but... Yeah. Don't know where I got that one either. The bags... High V stuff. This is an Electrolux back here. I can't even remember. I think I got that at Goodwill. That's my Dirt Devil broom vac. Uh, I can't remember where I got that. Sorry guys, I just maybe good. Maybe I got that at a thrift store. A lot of these were thrift stores. It's my Mila robot. I'm gonna make a video. I think I made a video before I. It's a whole story on how I got my Mila's. A lawn story. Maybe make a special video for that, but... It's my Twin Energy commercial. I got that from a janitor at my school. He was cleaning out the basement. And found this with a couple other vacuums. I think this is the only one I saved, though. That's an Electrolux. Canister. I... Could probably mention it now. This old abandoned house in my town... It's been there for like 40 years. It, it's tore down now, but I stole it from there in the middle of the night. 
I was mowing there because I used to mow being a property. So I'm like, hey, a vacuum cleaner. So I'm like, I'm going to come back in the middle of the night and steal this because the neighbor called the cops on me because I took the window out and <laughs> tried to take it. He called the cops on me and said I parked my mower there. Cop didn't really care. I'm like, it's been abandoned for over 40 years. He's like, okay, took me home. I went back there in the middle of the eight, nine o'clock at night. But yeah, that's my Sears Kenmore. I think that I got off. Somebody was going to throw it out. They gave it to me. It's my Hoover. Self propelled. Um, my Hoover Power Drive Supreme self propelled. Just a couple Kirby, a G4, G5 bag, and a G7 Diamond Edition. I had a Diamond Edition. I ripped it apart. It had issues with the cord. I don't know why. Did they think I was just bored? The G5 had an accident. It fell down the stairs. Broke so many parts on it. I don't remember how I dropped it. Like I said, those things are he sorry. Those things are heavy. I dropped it down the stairs, and just in parts and everything, it was just like. I didn't want to spend that much on my vacuum. I loved it, but I could find another one from a thrift store. That's my Kirby. One of my oldest Kirbys. I got that from the people that are going to throw stuff out. With a bunch of other ones. They gave it to me. I think that's also how I got the dual Sanatronics. It's my Kirby Tradition. You can see I got this at Goodwill. It has a bag in it. It doesn't have the original cord. It... It's a tank, I can say that. Kirby Classic. I used to have Classic, Classic Omegas. I got bored, I ripped those apart. Got rid of the parts, just... I don't know, I get bored So I used to get bored before I worked full-time. It's my Kirby Generation 3. Can't remember where I got that. The Kirby Heritage. Yeah, these are a lot of Kirbys. People hate Kirbys, I love Kirbys. Kirby Heritage 2 Legend. My very, very first Kirby I got from a gift from my special ed teacher in middle school. Her One of her friends was going to get rid of it. And he was like, hey, would Noah want it? I'm like, hell yeah. I s that one has been, had a brand new fan put in. I was sucking up rock, rock, not rocks, I'm not that stupid. But I was sucking up stuff in my basement Made a weird noise, ruined the fan. I tried to fix it myself. Ended up taking it to a vacuum shop, got it fixed. Hoover convertible. I don't know. Hoover convertible elite. I don't remember where I got that. Eureka. Another a Eureka. Another Hoover convertible. Kirby Dual Sanatronic. Like I said, I think I got this one with. This one. My Mila, signatured by the president, vice president, and owner of the Mila company. Like I said, long story. That's going to take a long story. This was my second Kirby I got. My Kirby G6 from Goodwill when my neighbor found it. $35, I think it was, or $55, but with a mother load of attachments, a whole tote of attachments. Didn't have a headlight cover. Um... I don't remember how I got a headlight cover, but got a five dollar discount for that. Spent I think thirty or I don't remember thirty fifty dollars. But Kirby Legend Two, I got that as a thrift store. Hoover Concept One. Um, this is a Hoover. I think this was a yeah. This is a Hoover Concept One heavy duty power drive, which means it's self propelled. I think I got both of these at a garage sale. Kenmore Sweep, Gentle Sweeper, Kenmore Progressive, with a dirt sensor. That works. Yeah, it's nice. On to one of my favorites, the Royal Series. I got this off Facebook Marketplace from a guy in Charles City. Great Royal. I love Royals. I think they were the best vacuum that was made. Besides attachments wise, the best vacuum that was me. Hoover convertible. My parents got that for me at a garage sale. Twin energy. Rainbow. I'm not for sure what model this is. 
I'm too lazy to look. You guys will know. To my vacuum cleaner collectors that follow me, you guys will know. I got it out of the thrift store. I got this one from that same thrift store. This is my other Royal, which I love. A Royal Classic Edition. You see, it's a Prince. Royal Prince. I think they're the king. Mila, same long story, how I got this one. A Sanitaire, I bought this brand new after I averaged out a few checks at hy -Vee. I did put... I ruined the shakeout bag because I tried to wash it, so I put a regular bag on this, but I'm probably going to go back to the shakeout bag. I don't think it was supposed to have regular bag, so I'm going to order just a regular shakeout bag again. I like this Sanitaire. I haven't used it in a long time, but love this. I don't think I got this before they sold out to Bissell. Um, I'm not for sure. I think they just sold out to Bissell, so I'm not for sure if I got one that was made by Bissell or made by Sanitaire. I'm not for sure. My life work in lawn care, my rug doctor, bought brand new. Took me so excited that year. It was thirteen, fourteen. I made five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars for the year to buy this for four hundred bucks on sale. So, yeah, it's nice. This is a power head for this Electrolux. I got that with a guy who used to sell Electrolux with a bunch of attachments. Dirt Devil Hand Vac thrift store find. Other Dirt Devil Hand Vac, I'm not for sure where that was found. That was something my parents got. No, that no, that one wasn't the one that's a Dirt, dirt Devil Hand Vac. Shop Vac. Pro, that was my grandma's. She bought it. She bought it years and years ago. The story with that was her basement. This was long before I was born, way back in the 90s or 80s, probably. She bought it after her basement flooded. After they pumped out all the water, she figured, well, in case it floods again, which it never flooded again, but it seeped and ruined the carpets, and they never even dealt with it anyway. So this shop vac was used. In the basement and stuff, but it wasn't used a whole, whole lot. It was, I can say it was used, but rarely used. So it's close to brand new, which, that's one of my favorite vacuums. I can, if I ever fade away from this vacuum collecting, it's, this is one I'm going to keep. This is one I cherish. I cherish this thing. I baby it, because I love it. My Simplicity Freedom, I got that at a thrift store. No, it's not plugged in. I'm going to ram for this. The Electrolux. The Hoover Wind Tunnel, that was a Christmas gift. It doesn't have the dirt cup. I think I threw that out. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. Kirby Centria. I got this for $2. Believe it or not, two $3 at Goodwill. They said it didn't work. And what the problem was is, you vacuum cleaner collectors will know this. This M Tour was... Here, I can't do this one-handed. The, sorry. The M Tour was like that. It wasn't twisted over all the way. So, of course, the vacuum cleaner, they said, sorry, guys. They said dead $3. I figured at first, before I turned that over, it was like, oh, it has a bad cord, or maybe the motor's just done, and the person abused it. But before I even put it in my car, I just turned that M tour over. I got home here, plugged it in, and it worked. So, yeah. Crazy story at that. I'll take you downstairs. I got chicken keep I got to eat yet, too. Oh, Electro. You guys can't even probably see this. Electrolux. I'm probably going to get rid of that one. I just. My vacuum collecting is kind of. Fading out, it's becoming more and more picky, and it's just, I don't know, I just don't want so many around. I want to be really picky on them. But, you know what, there is one that I missed, though, to show you guys. There is a vacuum cleaner I missed. That you probably saw and wondered why I skipped by it. This is my oldest one back here. A Bissell from 1876. That's my oldest vacuum. That is never going anywhere. No matter what, I will cherish that thing. Watching Terror in the Woods. 
or these woods are haunted. What do you guys want to say? The basement. Ooh, my scary basement. No, it's not that scary. Not much left down here for vacuum cleaners. My Kenmore, which was a Christmas gift. Like I said, upon my more in depth of becoming pickier with vacuums, I don't like this model so much anymore. Auric, of course, you gotta have an Auric. Every collector has an Auric. Just like I, I want to find a Dyson, but I don't want to buy one new. Every collector has a Dyson. Be nice to have a Dyson. I'll show you why I don't like these Kenmores. Is because the bags don't have like a seal around them. What Kenmore did is they put this for a seal. And look at this. I take good care of my vacuums. This was brand new, believe it or not. But look at this. I never had a bag come loose either, guys. No matter, you can, you gotta baby these things. I never babied it. You know. Oh, gosh. But, Dirt Devil, that was my very first vacuum next to a Blue Eureka. My, that was my parents from, that they bought when, before I was born. It was one that they had, which I, I killed, because I, Use too much water to clean it, but yep, a dirt devil. First one I got next to that Eureka, but that was my parents'. Rainbow? I don't know for sure which model that is, but yeah. Dirt devil, this is the one I grew up with. I'm not for sure my parents got this one. I don't know where they got it, or if it was one of my grandpas, or what the hell the story with that is. This is a steam up, but also a vacuum. Probably something fun to include, guys. But, yeah, this is not vacuum cleaner related, but I just thought I'd show you. This is a spin mop I got from my ex for a birthday present. For my birthday. It's the uh, one of the only two things, this is along with a heated blanket, are the only two things that I'm keeping of gifts I got from her. Um, I'm not going to go into detail, but I still have the gifts she gave me. They're in a basket under my bed. I'm not going to go into depth about that. That's not what these videos are for. They're to show positivity, happiness. That's the box to my Mila robot, but yeah. I think that's it for the vacuum cleaners, guys. Besides a uh, black Eureka in the garage, I don't feel like going out there. Black Eureka, whirlwind, and then uh, my shark, which was my third vacuum cleaner. The very first one I bought with my own money. Bought it with communion money. But, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to be it for tonight, you guys. I'm going to eat and eat my chicken and then relax. So, sorry guys, I'm trying to do work and film at the same time. You're probably not even seeing my face. But, have a good night, guys. Still trying to think of a good catchphrase to end it, but have a fun what night? Tuesday night. That's it.